you are watching Kolsky One. Like, share, and subscribe. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky One. So today we're going to have a look at the Anbenik S100, 32 gig handheld. Now, on the table you see I have two Nintendo Game Boy Advances and the Anbenik. So this is the standard Game Boy Advance. Uh, came, I don't know when they came out. Quite a bit ago. And then I have the Nintendo Advance with the IPS screen and I think on this one I have the flash card in here do I? Yeah I have an easy, easy flash card so I think this has got about 8,000 games on it I absolutely love this thing and yes I did buy it in this colour purposely I wanted the Pikachu one and this is the Anabinic S100 it comes in various different names I know there's a Power Kitty version of this and as you can see, it is similar in a lot of ways. It's smaller and there's a different layout of buttons. This one has more buttons on. But predominantly that's what they've gone for, the style they've gone for. The difference is this one. This one cost me £28.46 from China. And it has an IPS 3 inch screen. It comes with a 32 gig SD card installed and over 5,000 games. It's £28.46. You might think it's going to be a heap of crap. It is actually really good for what, are you, what you're paying for. Don't get me wrong, this will not play a Dreamcast, M64, and uh, PS1, it tries to, but it struggles with it. It's not that type of thing. It's to play old retro stuff. It has shoulder buttons on the top, so you've got an L1, R1, and a, a L2, um, L1, R1, L2, R2 button on the top. You've got a on and off switch on the side. You have a volume control here. You have a headphone jack, headphone jack and a USB-C charging port. It comes with a USB-C cable in the box when you buy it. I haven't got the box, I can't show it you. And this is what you get. So you've got a D-pad, which isn't that bad actually. It doesn't feel as mushy as some do. You have a select and start. You have A, B, Y and X. And that is your, I think it's reset button. So let me just turn it on and show it you. This thing also has stereo speakers. So it has stereo speakers at the bottom. So this is a screen you're greeted with. You can do... So on here you've got your settings. You can adjust your skin to what it looks like. Here you've got your emulators. Here you've got some built-in games. And on here you've also got some settings that you're never going to use. MP player. It will play videos apparently. Yeah, I've not tried. I'm only interested in this bit. So this is the uh, player. So you've got Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Famicom. That is a Mega Drive, Master System, Game Gear, Super Famicom, PlayStation, Pocket, Wonderswan, PC Engine, Arcade, CPS, Neo Geo and MAME. As you can see, loads and loads. This thing is completely full of games. When you get it out of the box it comes full of games. If I click on to Mega Drive and I go, oh, Sonics have been nicely put at the front. So they go into Sonic straight away. This thing loads quick and plays well. I'll well, have a go at playing it this way. I don't like playing things this way, but let's go. It saves, it's got save slots. So it'll save your game progress. As you can see the screen is really really nice, the colours are good, the, the colours are oversaturated I think, but all in all, not too bad. Get this thing to start, there we go, just pause it, you can see there's a very slight amount of screen tear every now and then, not in this game particularly, but in other games you can see it. You can see some screen tear, like I said, not in this one, but you can see screen tear in some of the games. I just want to just try and show you the thing, really. I'm not going to play the game, but what I just wanted to show you is... It's horrible playing this way. But you can see the screen display is really nice. You hit that button in the centre, you've got resume game, save. So you can save it from here, so if I hit save, and then I select a slot. So I've saved that game, so when I go back in and I want to play this game again, I would hit this button and I'd go load, load and that's where it's going to take me to. 
really is a nice piece of kit. In here you can also load new ROMs ISOs, change your options, so you can change a lot of things here, you can say the sound quality etc etc, display, there's a lot of things you can do with it. And then to come out, I can't remember how you come out of that now. And then if you want to come out of that game and go back to the beginning, you go into here, you go exit, and there you go back again. So that will take you out. And since this thing is based on a Game Boy Advance, let's go and have a look at Game Boy Advance. So for what you're paying for it, I really highly recommend this thing. Don't get me wrong, it, it's not going to be, it's not as good as a lot of things out there, but a lot, um, a lot of the other ones out there for 80, 90 quid, but you're paying 28 pounds for this. And rather than the crap ones you can get that just have um, a selection of 50 games, you'll have seen them, 50 games on it. This is, this is just so much better than that. And as you can see, again, it plays fantastic. Now I am going to sh try and show you playing a PlayStation game. Because it does struggle a little bit. It plays some stuff, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it doesn't play anything. It does play some stuff, but it doesn't play... Uh. Okay, so in the PlayStation menu, a lot of these games will be in Japanese, so not really that good, but we can see what we can do. Let's have a look at Rockman. Never even heard of it. It doesn't have all your big titles on Facebook. You can put your own games on here. You can see from there you've already got a problem on the intro. It won't particularly like playing PlayStation games. It's a, it's a level too far to play it. You can introduce frame skip and stuff like that, which is going to make it a little bit better. And like I said, the games can be put on. If you know what you're doing and you know where to get ROMs so and you know how to drag and drop, you can just put them in the SD card, which is in the side here. Just got that bit of paper over it, you just pull that off and do it that way. But as you can see, it's already stuttering on there. I don't really imagine it's going to play very well, but let's see what it's doing. Check it is age to load, which is never a good sign either. Mega Man into it. So I don't recommend this first thing. It's actually probably not too bad, actually. You can play it. It's not something I'd recommend. I don't think it's for this level, I think it's for something. There you go, you can see it works. It does actually play that. Let's exit out of that one. Put the Game Boy Advanced. The Sonic Advance. I'm just giving you a quick look over the case. I'm not going to spend any much time going all over everything. I just wanted to show you roughly what you can get. You can see the screen's really nice on it. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about the screen is the fact it's, well, I don't, actually, there's nothing I don't like about the screen, it's a lie. I think it's a bit oversaturated with colour, but you can see it plays fine. And it will play the 16 bit stuff, absolutely no problem whatsoever. So I think for the money, this is a great introduction to retro gaming. Like, it's not the best thing in the world. Um, but. It's certainly not the worst, there's a lot worse. The stuff you can buy from Amazon for 18 quid is absolute garbage. So comparing it to this, this is a Game Boy Advanced Game Boy Advance with a EZ card in, so I've got loads of games on here. You can, I want to show you the screen difference. So this, this screen's obviously better, this is like a 50, 50 quid um, mod, but you're going to see there is a difference to the screen. I'm not playing a game, I just want to see, this is a good game to probably show you how the definition of the screen looks. The screen looks really good on this thing, and like I say, this is a, I don't know, these vary in price. To get one modded like this, you're probably looking at 110, 120 quid. With a card, you're probably looking at 140. But that's not really what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you is, for that money, that's an amazing value machine. I'm not getting, I'm not on any kind of promotion to sell this or anything like that. I wasn't going to buy it, I just saw it. I've got, you'll see a lot of handhelds coming. I've got, I don't know, 42, I think, uh, bought over the last year. So you're going to see that. 
I bought this because it was cheap and I thought a quick review, I'd not seen a proper review, I'd seen a preview actually on Wicked Gamer's channel and I thought mm, it doesn't look that bad but I didn't watch the full video and I was actually shocked when I got it how good it was. So, thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day and I will see you all very soon.